going to get to that right now. CBS 46 weather alert team coverage continuing in Gwinnett County with breaking news. Crews still working to restore traffic lights that strong winds toppled. Trace and Bragg is in Sugar Hill talking with crews who have been out there for hours and he has a breaking update this hour. Trace and what do you have? Well, that's right, Rob. They have been out here for hours working hard. Take a look behind me. Now they're sweeping up, which means they're at the tail end of this repair, this repair. But you can see the crews are still here. Multiple county crews. We have also GDOT crews out here. The cones are still out and they've shut down this intersection to make repairs to the traffic light, which was actually blown down last night by high winds. Take a look at what it looked like out here last night. Now, the winds reached upwards of 40 miles per hour out here in Gwinnett County. And as you can see, they knocked down this, these traffic lights out here, which obviously caused major problems and led to some potentially dangerous situations. So these crews got out here early this morning. And as we said, they have been out here for hours. Now, these high winds are expected to last throughout the day, and we've seen them really pick up over the last hour or so since we've been out here. But again, these crews are getting close to wrapping up here. The intersection is still closed. We have Gwinnett County police officers out here keeping the intersection closed, but I want to show you a little bit of a cheat code that folks who have been driving down Peachtree Industrial have been using. So the intersection is shut down, but they've been driving through the, the uh, gas station there to be able to make their way down Peachtree Industrial eventually. We're going to continue to track this to see how long these crews will be here. And coming up at 6.30, I also have a warning from you from Georgia Power about the severe weather. You don't want to miss that. Reporting live in Gwinnett County, I'm Trayson Bragg, CBS 46 News. Yeah.